we're back in the craft room and I have another craft for you today and today we're going to be making a metal fish and it's going to be a wall hanging and I was actually going to do it if you guys saw my coaster with my cat I was actually going to put this over Spooky's food bowl so here's a fish that I drew and what we're going to be using is um, this metal it's like a baking pan it's like a disposable baking pan and it's really light aluminum I guess and um, originally I was going to do this with some some flashing for for like that you would find at the furnace in the furnace department at like Home Depot or something but then I found this great site actually she found me and featured one of my projects and I found on her site, which is really great, you should go see it, it's called Susie's Sitcom, and I will link to it in, um, in the information and on my blog, and she uses these disposable cookie sheets, and she has done some amazing work, so you should definitely go visit that, and we're going to get started. And the first thing we're going to do is, we're just going to take um, some regular scissors, and you want to cut... it out. What we're going to do is we're going to emboss on this and I'm going to take a towel and I'm going to just place it on here. We will be cutting it further but not until we get a little bit further into the process. Now I have an embossing tool which you don't need. If you have like a ballpoint pen that's run out of ink that would work perfect and you can use just anything that you think will work. And to do like some of the details we can use other stuff later. So all you're going to do, and I'm going to move this over to the side so in case I want to do anything with some of the other stuff, <clears throat> I can later. And you can tape it down if you want or not. And I'm just going to trace this, the picture that I drew, onto the metal. And when you finished it, this is what you're going to have. I didn't do the um, indents in here because I thought I would just do that later. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to just cut it out. Now once you have it all cut out, this is when you're going to start to really start embossing it and giving it some details. When it comes to embossing your fish, there's a lot of different tools that you can use. Like I said, you can use your ballpoint pen that's out of ink. Um, you can use a knitting needle. That's a really great tool to use. It's got both ends that would work. You can use the end of a paintbrush. You don't have to go invest in some great expensive tools. Just use what you have around the house. Go into your silverware drawer. Maybe the back of a spoon might work or your bone folder or a pen. You know, the back of a pen would work. So just check out what you have around. You don't have to go and buy anything. So now I'm going to start embossing. I had traced it out on this side but there's parts that I want to have stick out so I have my basic outline and now for example and I'm working on the towel just because it gives it there's a little bit of give instead of working like on a hard surface this will allow me to emboss so like the eyeball I want that to be sticking out so I'm going to on the back side just using the knitting needle apply some pressure and you don't have to apply like super hard pressure but look at now the eye is sticking out and I'm going to want to have like this fin sticking out some and just give it a little bit of texture see as you can see it's now starting to be it's starting to have a little bit of shape and dimension to it instead of being this flat fish so I'm going to keep going with this and now I'm going to do the same with this interior fin and this bottom one. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give them some scales. Now all I'm going to do is, and, and I'm not going to get really super complicated with it, I'm just going to kind of I want to give them some texture. So I'm going to kind of go with a pattern like that. So here he is, and he's starting to take shape. And I'm going to just kind of do a little bit of something on his face just so that he doesn't look so flat here. 
but I'm not going to give that any more texture other than just to kind of, and I'm going to use a popsicle stick for that. Once you have your fish completely embossed, now is the fun part. What I would normally do is, the ideal thing would be to take this outside and spray paint it with a metal primer. And that's, you know, they have just the plain spray paint and you can do that in black or in white. But since it's still super cold here, um, I'm going to just use a metal primer. I'm just going to use a metal primer that I bought at the craft store and I'm going to paint it and let it dry. Here is the fish after I primed it and it dried clear, which I didn't know if it would do that or not. But now comes the fun part. Now we get to paint it. And now that it's primed, we can just use the acrylic paint on the fish. All we're going to do is take some acrylic paint and start painting it. And you might end up doing two coats, just depending on how you think it turned out. And now I'm going to move on to the body. And the body I'm going to do with two metallic colors. I have this metallic blue pearl and this metallic amethyst. I thought it would be kind of a, a fun shimmery combination. And what I'm going to do is take the two colors and kind of mix them together a little bit. So I kind of have half and half. And I'm going to go over the body. And then I'm going to do the tail in this lime green. I want it to be a very tropical looking fish. We're back to work on the next step of our fish. And what I'm going to do now is, because this is a tropical fish, and tropical fish are kind of iridescent and shiny and shimmery, I'm going to add a little interest. And I'm using just a, a high gloss polyurethane kind of a finish. And I'm going to mix that with some Pearl X powders. Now I'm going to carefully tap some in here, kind of mix it in until I get the color that I want. And it's going to be really nice and shimmery. So I'm going to keep doing that. And I'm using the clear polyurethane because obviously then all the shimmer will come through. And I'm using a thin brush and I'm going to just kind of paint some details onto, onto the fins and the tail. And we'll let that dry. And I'm going to do the same thing with some purple Pearlex powder onto the body just to give it a little extra shimmer here and there. We're back and the fish is dry and there's only a couple more things that I wanted to do to kind of dress it up. My eye didn't come out as perfectly circular as I wanted so I'm going to add a little bit of glue and probably you've guessed already what I'm going to do. And I put the glue around the eye and all I'm going to do is sprinkle some orange glitter right on there and then shake off the excess and I'll put any of the leftover glitter back into, back into the container. And I'm just going to put some glue on where the different colors meet and then I will sprinkle, sprinkle on the glitter. You can see that there now and I'm going to do it around the fin um, and any place else where the colors meet. All the glitter has dried on the fish and you can leave it like this and can be ready to go. You could spray some lacquer on there or some kind of a polyurethane. Um, that would work. Or what I'm going to do, because this is what I do, I'm going to coat it in resin. And I'm only doing that just because it will give it a little bit of more stability and stuff like that by the tail. Um, if I'm having it hang on the wall, it really wouldn't make any difference. But I wanted to give it a try and see how it would work. So I've already prepared my resin and it's the same as always, it's the Easy Cast Resin and I'm going to paint it on here. Now I've put it in a box and I just have it sitting on a cup just so that when stuff ends up dripping down then it won't make a mess all over everything and I'll just have it contained in the box. 
So all I'm going to do is dip my disposable brush and I'm going to drip it over some of the glittered areas first before I start brushing any place else. And that's just because I'd like for it to really adhere to those places. And I'm not trying to pull off any excess glitter. So keep brushing it on and then once you have it all covered just make sure that you have it set so it doesn't fall over at night or anything and in 12 hours we will come back and check it out and see how it all turned out. The fish is all finished and all dry and hardened and cured and I think it looks pretty cute. I'm gonna hang this up over Spooky's dish and she can dream about having a tropical fish for dinner. Hope you like it. Hope you give it a try. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Remember to stop by my website at www.craftclotch.com and you'll find the directions for this and all my other crafts on there. So we will see you next time. Thanks again for watching. Happy crafting.